hi 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 everyone how are you this is beatrice yugi and i'm here in uh west palm beach florida yeah and uh yeah i just wanted to encourage somebody with worship i feel like really worshiping i feel like really worshiping today is uh friday getting into saturday and i hope you guys have had uh i've started the month well you've started november well can you imagine the year is almost ending again my god it just started it just felt like it, it feels like uh, january was just yesterday and yeah anyway we thank god for this fight he has brought us we thank god for taking care of us throughout the year and yeah today i just wanted to think about jesus as the land of the tribe of judah and worship him from that perspective the lion we are told is the king of the jungle and if you ever watched a lion take care of its pride you know the lion doesn't have to do anything it just needs to be there its presence scares off the enemies now when the lion roars in its territory no any other animal will think about coming near its pride i want to be part of that pride by the way you know i want to be in that place where when i'm in the presence of the king nobody can dare touch me that is where i want to be and that is jesus i don't know where you are i don't know where you are but for me i want to be in the presence of the king that is just a metaphor what about that real king who will reign forever and ever and ever you know jacob who was the father of the 12 tribes of uh, judah the genesis of the name i just i just want to explain where this name uh the land of the tribe of judah came from in the book of genesis chapter 49 verse 10 when jacob uh, was uh, blessing his children he knew he was about to die so he called his children and told them guys come so that i can tell you what will happen in the future so uh, judah was the fourth born among his children and when he comes jacob tells him judah your brothers will praise you you are the lion's cub. So he's the one who named Judah the lion's cub. The lion, yeah. So that's where the name comes from. You are the lion's cub. Uh, like, as in, you shall go out and come back with prey. You know, your brothers will praise you. The scepter or the rod of leadership shall not depart from your house. And it shall remain there until the rightful owner comes. He was referring to Jesus Christ. When Jesus comes, he'll be the ruler and he will reign forever and ever. And yeah, that is where we are we, today. Jesus Christ already came and we know that Jesus Christ rules whether we like it or not. And one day, one day the Bible says, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall proclaim that Jesus is Lord. And he's going to come back for the second time for his body, for his church. He's going to come back for those who proclaimed that he is the lion, that he is the ruler. And one day, as I have said again, every knee shall bow down and every tongue shall proclaim that he is Lord, that he is king and that he reigns. I want to be where the ruler is. Where do you want to be? The Bible says in the book of Romans 10, 9, that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and that your God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. It is that simple, guys. If you confess with your mouth, that Jesus is Lord, that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. You shall be saved. Guys, we want to be part of that kingdom. I love this song by Nathaniel Basse that talks about um, uh, Yeshua. I think this guy is from the tribe of Igbo. He talks about Yeshua, a Messiah, Jesus the Messiah, Lion of Judah, and then Aguna Chamber. Aguna Chamber means uh, one who watches over the land. So they're referring to the lion who watches over the land. I just love this song and I'd like you guys to listen to it with me. And maybe you can sing along. It is just a chorus. It's just as simple as that. Yeshua, uh, the Messiah, uh, Lion of Judah, Aguna Chemba. Just that. He sings about that on and on and on. I guess he worships that. Let's listen to this, guys. Yeshua, the Messiah. Oh, 